All right, now that spring has sprung, it really feels like spring has definitely sprung. It's yes. scorching outside. Uh, many people are looking to get out and work in the yard or the garden today. Maybe a little warm, though. You can also do a little planting inside if you want. Laura Hughes, the owner of City Stims, is here to talk about succulents. So the first thing I wanted to know is what exactly is a succulent? Because I didn't really know exactly <laughs> what they were until fairly recently. Hey, guys. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And good to have you. Succulent is a super hot, trending plant right Right now. Yeah, we and love trendy. It is NC loving, uh, so it will be super happy out in this crazy heat we're having. Uh, and today we're going to roll into making your own succulent bowls. Okay, yeah, and I, I just smelled them. They don't really have much of a smell. They I do just not. wanted to double check that because you can't no do that scent. at home. There is <laughs> so no good scent. to know that. This is correct. Yeah, so the first thing at City Stems, we're super keen on choosing an interesting bowl or pot or okay, vessel. Okay. And so we have a bunch of different choices here. You're yeah, I like this rocking one. out with a, it's an antique I'm gonna brick go, mold. I think I got the best one. I'm going to go with this white <laughs> okay. one. I like this. It okay. really pops, right? Of the sea, okay, that might fit into your decor. Yeah, thank you. And once it. you've chosen something that's personal to you, that's personal to your home, uh, maybe it's something passed down through your family, maybe it's uh, something from your exotic travels but sure. pick something interesting that suits your home decor yeah that wood box I wouldn't even think to you can really use anything for succulents definitely and nice. so oftentimes uh, pots will have a drainage hole in the bottom and if they don't that's all right you can still use it okay uh, and what we're gonna do to uh, be able to use a vessel without a drainage spot is to fill the bottom of our pots with some sort of river, rock, stone, anything. You can send the kids out into the backyard to fetch some stones for you. But the point of that, and they, these are down already in your bowls, but you can mm -hmm. add some more. The point of that is when we overwater, if we overwater, there is a place for that water to go because oh, succulents okay. do not like sitting in water. It will rot their roots and they will become unhappy very quickly. Okay. So after you have your rocks down, Done. Are we putting let's dirt in? get busy. Say goodbye to your manicures, yeah. boys. And okay. we are going Thanks to... for giving us the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the scoops. I did. Got... I'm getting in Adorable here. Adorable little dirty. scoopers, too. Yeah, uh, so feel free. Is get this messy. a special soil? Yes, great question. So you want something, this is a really light soil. It's going to um, hold the moisture long enough for your succulent to get a drink, but it isn't going to hold it long enough for the roots to okay. start rotting. So, and you can pick it up, well, you can call me. I'll give, I'll uh, supply you with some, or you can pick it up at just your local, you know, big box store. It'll say succulent, cactus mix, something like so that. So we have a, about a minute left. I'm curious, oh, cool. these can go inside, outside? What, what are we They can go inside doing? if you have a sunny spot. They okay. want so by sunshine. A window. Yes, right. for sure by a window. Particularly, when do I stop scooping? Oh, this looks good. Okay, yeah. This looks nice. That's okay. Uh, I need to put some more in. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then grab, pick your, pick your next <laughs> yes, plant. Yes, she laughs. <laughs> pick, your, pick your succulent and give it a squeeze and just, oh, they're a little yeah. fragile. Um, go ahead and feel free to give the roots a little love. Loosen them up. Oh, yeah, a little love. A little All love. Right. And we're thinking about, I know you are, already are, but uh, we're thinking about texture. We're thinking about color when we're choosing our plants. Uh, we're thinking about size. Um, I like a little asymmetry in my second And it's this simple. So you can just put this in there, and they're good to go. Totally. Lightly water them, and they're good. Wonderful. And Lord. the last part is a good soil cover. I love Spanish moss. I love this black sand. And that sort of dresses it up at the end. And you go, look at that. Well, perfect. We're going to have more awesome. information on our website. Great for the hot weather. Thank you so much, Laura. We'll I have think more I coming up here on NBC Laura, Charlotte. We appreciate you. We'll be right back.